Hello my fellow Lapority, I'm Mr. Church, and today we're going to be building a raider-like base in Ash Heap, right here, uh, just over near Welsh Station, as you can see. Uh, it looks like Rehab Fan is here, it, he must be a fan of Rehab, I guess. But we're just going to be building here. The reason here is we can build on this dump truck of Doom. So first, you will see there's a log in the back, but that'll go away once we really start to work. It it doesn't like to be around for labor. Um, it's a lot like one of my siblings, to be honest, uh, laying around and then disappearing as soon as the hard work starts to commence. Now, I sped this up as much as possible because this part is back-breaking labor of just building up, taking down, building up, and what we're trying to do is line up the foundation to be completely uh, level with the back of the dump truck, both up and down and side to side, and the way we're testing that is we're trying to build upper floors up here, so just adjust each time until it finally lets you build inside there, uh, like this. And then once you have that up and down, now you're going to be moving it back and forth to try to make sure you can build right in there uh, and put walls in. So it, it takes a little bit of time, I won't lie. But that gave me plenty of time to reminisce on all the fun things to be done in this game. And this is top of the list, and that's saying a lot. Uh, once you have that done, um, I realized that I've got three upper floors in length, and I want to shorten that so it's not hanging out the truck that far, because that seems kind of weird. So first, I wanted to move it in a block, so I attempted to by putting this foundation here, and just moving the stairs in by one, but it doesn't want to snap right here. So we, we're just going to have to move it in a half a floor and have like a half floor porch or something on the back of our structure. So let's do this and then we can put our half floor here and then we'll just put those upper floors back in there and we'll be happy again. Well, let's not push our luck there, but put that in, make sure the walls can be placed and everything's fine and dandy. I'm going to make this be wooden and shit. Now, whatever we do for the walls here, we just want them to look scrappy, so it doesn't matter very much what ones you use, just as long as you avoid that god-awful barn set, because honestly, building with a barn set will reduce your entire uh, longevity as a human being. Um... Let's put some poles here so that it's uh, being held up by the laws of physics and not just wishful thinking and a very uncreative mind. Uh, the first thing I tried here was a slanted roof on the front. So we'll see how that looks once we're done here. Um, and I'll also be changing up the roofs. But yeah, I took a step back and it looked way too angled and I didn't really like that whole aesthetic. If you want to do that, that's fine. Uh, not many people will be judging you as long as they don't see it. But we're going to change this up and we're going to make it look more shack-like. The story here is we are maybe raiders or something, but we found a dump truck and we built a shack in the back of the dump truck because we have our support structure there and we're up off the ground, which will keep the ghouls off our backs. And I think it will be a good idea. Okay. So that looks, I think, a lot better. It looks a lot more man-made and uh, post-war. The other one was angled too much, and it kind of actually matched the angles of the dump truck too much, making it look less... Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say here, because I sure don't. Now, what we're going to do is we want to build some stuff on the front of the dump truck, but we want it to be square with the back of the dump truck. So we're going to kind of just walk our foundations over there, which will keep them in the same square grid of the back, if that makes any sense. Right here, we can't build because the, the ground is too poopy, so we're going to build upward using this ramp. This will still allow us to be building 
in the same uh, square. And we also needed to go up half a wall height anyway, because that's about how high up the front of the bucket is compared to the back. But I thought about maybe using these and making a bigger structure off the front, and then I decided let's do something sm small. Uh, so I did this, and then I made sure it would actually fit in here. And it does. It does indeed fit, which is good. Um, did I even stick it down or what? But I want to move it closer. I want this. I want this back part or this front. This is the front of the truck. Yeah. I want it to be a little bit smaller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move our foundations half a foundation towards the front of the the truck. And by doing this, I'm gonna do the exact same thing we did in the back and miraculously this let me build even though it was a, pretty much all outside the build zone I don't know why it let me do that but I'm not complaining am I uh, and then we can just delete all this stuff and now we have um, these foundations here or this foundation here rather where we want it but I want to make sure we have the old foundation uh, situation saved in case this doesn't fit or we don't like it so we can just swap uh, swap swatch what so we can just switch it out if we don't like it so I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure we save the old foundation and the new foundation uh, orientations here I'm just gonna build them over here to the side so we have them otherwise you're gonna have to walk everything back over again from around behind the truck which is gonna be a waste of time and you know if you're playing this game you do not like wasting your time whatsoever so let's uh, put some foundations in that are unnecessary like that one move this over and now we have this foundation here uh, right in front of the truck which is right where we want it we'll keep that there for now for those two locations and this fits perfectly so we'll get rid of this and I tried a couple of different things here with these and I ended up getting rid of that one just to keep the structure itself small uh, that post wouldn't go in because it intersects with the railing on the, f the stairs of the truck but that's fine as long as we have one you're gonna need to delete these things in here to put this uh, wall up but then you can build them you can put them back in later everything's fine believe me even at eight times speed you can still do it I believe in you uh, but here we go, lag, that was cool, um, and we're we're seeing this, see we can just snap this back in place, and I'm going to change from the asbestos, which is too clean, to a more rugged steel look, and there we have that, and off to the side here, I'm going to be using this ramp to build a generator windmill, to build a generator windmill, always try to build like an extra support off the back of where you want to put the legs otherwise it's gonna say it's floating even though it's not so put your legs where they want them in the immediate corners or whatever and then once that's done you can delete the back foundation or floor or whatever you had back there and and uh, everything's fine if you're having a hard time putting those down just throw a support structure out behind it because that back conical not at all phallic shape of the windmill generator doesn't like to hang over empty space for whatever reason and we're gonna make a uh, kind of uh, garbagey stairwell area uh, and if you're wondering why there's no reason for this I just want to um, and then over here I decided we want to go out this way some with our build uh, because we have uh, too much of a flat and straight structure. Why does my cat have to always decide he has to come in and meow and beg to come into my room every time I begin recording? Why? Why? He's nowhere to be seen and then the second I hit that record button, he comes caterwailing along. You know what? He can just scream because... I know that he knows he's loved and supported, he has food, water, uh, all the toys he could ever want, and a lot of toys that he doesn't want. There's nothing I could offer him at this moment. 
except for my loving company and support which ever okay I'm letting him in unbelievable unbelievable now you can't snap these to the upper floors at this moment after the next update you will be able to again hallelujah but for now you can just set them on the top but they don't really like to play nice so push them out as far as they can go this way uh, and to avoid the fact that they're hanging in air quotes and whatnot but they still the last one still isn't going to want to place but you can do the same thing we did with a generator build a fake support off the back then snap it and after the 40 years of lag then you can just get rid of that temporary support structure and it's fine and dandy and then now that the the wall that is up we can put uh, some posts in there because one thing we firmly believe in um, are the laws of physics uh, those are something that we can't really uh, empathize, empath, empathize. At this point, why bother editing these things out? It'll be an empty clip. Alright, so this is what we have. This is the bones of the structure. But what brings life to a build is the decorations in $17,000 from Adam Shop money. So let's uh, wave our magic wand and empty our bank account and kabam! But as you can see, we have uh, some... One thing we did was we cluttered the area with shrubs. They don't work as well in the ash heap, I will admit, because the color is a bit off from most of the foliage here, but they still, they still are better than not having them in my opinion but they're good to use around foundations and structures that you deem to have been here for a while and they kind of give it that uh, overgrown look. Let's come in here and talk to Graham who's been waiting for us to come home. Close these shutters for fuck's sake. Let's head out onto the porch where we are certainly not bootlegging and making Nuka shine. Let's spin once more to get properly sick and close this curtain again which is nearly impossible because we turned the heads up display off because the video of course needs to come first over our gaming experience so uh, here we have our little uh, ties as they are called in some other foreign areas of the world uh, and if I walk dramatically this way up until I trip on a rock right here and then there's no rock there so I move and then continue walking dramatically you will see that from this angle it really looks like we've built on top of this dump truck and it's been a crucial part of our structure. Um, but it's fun, you know? Everything's fine. We've got our coffins here of all the dead bodies that have accumulated from people who have come by and uh, tried to repair those log walls that we have broken for aesthetic purposes. Um. Yeah, just use the flame trap, burn the half walls of the log, and then I put this sign here just so people would stop fixing it and it didn't work, because I guess um, reading comprehension is a bit low when it comes to the overall uh, demographic of people who play this game. That's unfortunate to learn. Uh, but let's head on up these rickety rackety stairs. We've got these spikes to walk on, just kind of so we can feel like Jesus every time we walk inside. You can see underneath here, uh, we've got, I put the uh, mesh floor so you can see down into the dump truck. And of course, this table is set up by the window so we can kind of watch the road, which is a really good place to snipe people coming around the bend. Um, and so we can just set our snipers up on the table. It's a good system. Good good system indeed then we can go down and take their stuff and um, they'll probably be carrying extra desk fans which will come in handy but uh let's fly around a lot um, because what's the point of having a jetpack if you don't use uh, the jets and your AP drain all the time but as you can see I think that it worked out in the end pretty well except for my cat uh, destroying my video and um, 
So, yeah, it was fun. It was pretty simple. The first part's really the only difficult bit. Um, and that just takes a little bit of patience. You might try f blueprinting those bits. But follow me on Twitch if you want to watch me streaming, uh, like, subscribe, and all those other wonderful things that I can only imagine you want to do after watching this video. Um, and uh, if you've been watching this far, thank you so much for your support. I always appreciate it when people don't hate me as much as they usually do. And that's the uh, fun thing about making content for you guys. So with that said, I will see you in the next video.